hello friends welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about error guessing testing technique and this is a test design technique in software testing industry we using this technique we derive the test cases or write the test cases so what exactly error guessing testing technique so it is an experience based testing technique guys where the test analyst uses his or her experience to guess the problematic areas of the application and this technique necessarily requires skilled and experienced testers so the person who has very good experience and who has good knowledge on the application can derive this kind of test cases and perform this kind of testing so what exactly we do as part of this testing technique how do we do the testing so basically we perform invalid operation on the application and we expect the meaningful message when we perform the invalid operations so this is kind of when we perform invalid operations so we expect the meaningful message from the system so how do we do let me give an example so let's say we are testing a website guys and there is a field to upload a file and where we uh, another field we have to browse the file from the computer and upload the file so here the path of the file will come now as a formal testing approach how do we do this so we'll we will simply upload a file valid file and we'll see whether it is getting uploaded properly or not so that is a basic testing we'll do as part of normal formal approach now what we do as part of this testing process so what we do we'll upload a blank file blank file so we'll upload the blank file and verify the message it should give the proper error message like the file is blank or file is empty or something so it should give a proper message it should not give any exception over here or any invalid message now another another uh, scenario could be another test cases we can upload a file with maximum limit which has maximum number of records over here and we upload here let's say this uh, this field will take only 500 records and here we'll upload with 510 or 550 like that and we'll see the error message we should get the proper error, error message that uh, maximum limit exceeded or something now another could be invalid format file with invalid format let's say our uh, headers are invalid or we have some invalid records in the file so when we upload this file we should get a proper message that file in, in file is invalid or headers are incorrect or incorrect format so these are the different uh, scenarios we do as part of this error guessing testing technique guys so we can derive number of uh, test cases using this testing basically we perform invalid operation and we see the error message we get we should get the expected error message like meaningful error message now why do we do this testing why do we do why do we do error guessing testing so there could be a couple of reasons let's say so we have different testing test design techniques guys we have boundary value analysis we have equivalence class part testing we have state transition so these are the different test test design techniques so we'll cover uh, i'll talk about them in coming videos so when we are not able to cover uh, different test cases using uh, as part of this test design techniques then we go for this then we cover those test cases using this error guessing testing technique guys and uh, another reason could be in formal testing approach we cannot cover all the test scenarios or test cases and using this error guessing testing technique we can cover maximum number of we can give a proper coverage of test cases we can uh, thoroughly write the test cases as part of this test design technique now let's talk more about error guessing testing technique guys in next slide so testing is conducted by performing invalid operations which we have discussed and validate the error message is displaying or not 
the error message should meaningful to understand so this is the the point which we have discussed it is a type of testing method in which prior experience in testing is used to uncover the defects in software it is an experience based testing technique in which the tester uses his or her past experience to intuition to gauge the problematic areas of software application so this is what we have discussed so there are different functionalities in uh, whenever we do testing in any application guys so when we have experience user we can explore more uh, the more problematic areas of the application so this is the main purpose of this error guessing testing so what are the examples so we need to test a program uh, which reads a file what happen if the program gets a file which is empty or the file does not exist and enter blank space into text fields use maximum limits of files to be uploaded so these are the different examples some of them which we have discussed at the beginning of this video so what are the advantages of error guessing testing guys so it uncovers those defect defects which would otherwise be not be possible to find out through formal testing approach so this is the biggest advantage of error guessing testing to expand the test coverage it does not follow any specific rule so these are the different different advantages of doing error guessing testing what are the disadvantages so only experienced testers can perform this testing you can't get it done by freshers so this is the kind of disadvantage it it also cannot guarantee that the software has reached the expected quality benchmark so this is all for today guys this is about error guessing so thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye